shadow. Yeah, you, shadow. Open your eyes. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. Come on. Get up. <laughs> You've been sleeping all night into the morning. Do you want to sleep all day too? Yes, it's me, Aruna. Now get up. I'm making you breakfast. And after you eat, we can spend the whole day together. You smell that? Eggs and bacon. I made some fresh bread earlier if you couldn't tell. The bacon smell is kind of taken over the room. It's cooling on the table over there. I hope you're hungry. We're in the dragon's tower. My tower. I come here now and then to be by myself. You can imagine being an empath in a crowded city can get a little wearisome at times. So occasionally I have to get away from it all. It's so quiet out here and peaceful. Where the tower is located is someplace safe. It's not on any map. It's my tower, my own. Nobody else comes here. It's too far away from human land for them to care about. And it's too cold for Nekos and dragons to give it too much thought. But don't worry, Shadow. It's not too cold for you. It's uncomfortably cold for dragons, but not dangerously so. But that's why we've got a fireplace. It will keep us nice and toasty. And when it's fading, I guess we'll just have to cuddle for warmth. <laughs> yes, your hands are bound behind you. That's to keep you from doing anything rash. Because I took you. I took you away to be with me here. You're mine now. You're my shadow. I hadn't thought of that until you just said it. You're not just shadow. You're my shadow. And you're going to be my shadow. And you're going to be as close as my shadow for the rest of our lives together. <laughs> I'm never going to let you go again. I'm going to cuddle you and snuggle you until you're sick of me. <laughs> but you're never going to get sick of me, shadow, are you? Why would you? What? Kidnapping? No. Why would you think that? Kidnapping? No, Shadow, this was a rescue. How could you think I kidnapped you? I knew you were tormented without me. I saved you, didn't I? I saved you. Oh, no, 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 no. What if I misjudged? Could I have misjudged? What if my love, what if my shadow doesn't understand? What if he doesn't understand me? What if he doesn't really love me? I thought it was him. I know it was him. He's my connection. You're my connection. My love, my being, aren't you? Shadow, why don't you speak? You look confused. Are you confused? I thought you'd know. I thought you'd know? You know what's happening, don't you? No, no, Shadow. You have to know. Please, Shadow, please know. Oh my God, Aruna, what are you doing? You're frightening your love. You're frightening Shadow. Look at him. He can't speak. He's terrified. Well, maybe he should be terrified. After all, he left me. He left me. His true love. The other piece of his being. Maybe I should cut him like I cut him before. He doesn't care about the pain then. Maybe he'll care now. 
Maybe he'll care about me. Stop. Stop. Aruna, stop. What are you doing? What, what am I doing? <gasps> a knife! I, I, I picked up a knife. Why, why did I do that? Let it go. Let it go. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Shadow. My shadow. I could never hurt you. Come here. Oh, you're my shadow. My love. My deep, deep love. My precious baby. My longing. My desire. Oh, shadow, hold me. Touch me, take me. I'm all yours. Take me right now. What? Wait, wait, no. This is all wrong. This wasn't how it was supposed to be. Oh, Shadow, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't want this. I thought you'd make me whole again. I thought that you'd heal me. That I'd be better. Please forgive me. I'm not trying to scare you. No, Shadow, I'm not okay. I can't control my emotions. I'm... Well, you can see what I am. I thought you could make me right again. I thought you could make me whole. No, I don't feel you. I don't. Ever since you left, I haven't been able to feel anyone. Shadow, I'm not an empath anymore. It's gone. My abilities, they're gone. They're left with you, Shadow. When you left me, so did they. I don't know. I, I don't... They, they just left. You can imagine what that did to me. When I could feel everyone and everything around me, I had to put up barriers. My mind and my heart had to be disciplined to deal with the cacophony of feelings constantly surrounding me. My own emotions became joined to them. And you, Shadow, you were the strongest of all. I'd never felt another like you. It's like we were one. It felt a special bond with you, even while you were asleep when I first knocked you out when you were sneaking into our land looking for your sister. I could feel you more deeply asleep than I could anyone else awake. And when you woke up? The surge, Shadow. The surge didn't just knock me over. It gripped me. It caressed me. It enveloped me. It comforted me. It was like every single other emotion faded from existence. All I could feel was you. It was... And now this is what I've become. When you left, my empathic abilities left with you. Without the rush of incoming emotions, it was so... quiet. I could hear my own emotions clearly for the first time in forever. Yes, hear them. It was like they were speaking to me, crying out to me, demanding to speak. All of my effort and training has been directed at keeping other people's emotions at bay. I never trained to keep my own emotions within. Now without the onrush of other emotions pressing in, mine are leaking out randomly. <laughs> yes, leaking is somewhat of an understatement, I'll grant you that. Oh, Shadow. <laughs> Shadow, I love you. I'm so sorry for what you heard before. I don't care why I said it or what reason I thought I had to say it. It should never have been said. I could try to give you excuses or try to make you understand what was going through my head at the time. But it doesn't matter. I said it, and it hurt you deeply. The last emotion I ever felt outside of my own was the deep grieving I felt from you, and it tore me, Shadow. It tore me apart. Shadow, I... 
I want you to stay with me. Please. Yes, I know you've got no choice at the moment. I've got you tied up and locked away out here in the tower. And even if I did untie you and open the secret entrance, you'd still probably not be able to find your way home not knowing where we are. Yes, secret entrance. This isn't just a tower. It's a dragon's tower, which means that there's a magical way to get in and out that only dragons are privy to. It's very convenient. My father built this tower for me, or rather he provided the materials and the means. I built it myself. My father understood how my abilities were a curse as much as they were a blessing. He loves me dearly and wanted me to be happy. So as I said before, he provided me with this way to get away from everybody from time to time. Yes, Shadow. I know how disturbing and confusing this must be for you. And I'm sorry for that too. I do love you, Shadow. I do. It's not the wildly insane bursts of emotions that are saying that. But I can't let you go right now, Shadow. I'm ill. Something within me won't let you go. But at least I'm aware. These wild emotions, fluctuations are battering me. But they're not controlling me. I could release you, but I know it would destroy me if you left now. So please, even though you're tired and not leaving, please tell me that you'd like to stay, that you'd like to help me, even if you can't tell me that you love me yet. Thank you, Shadow. Shadow, I'm... I'm going to kiss you now. Just once. Is that okay? No, not like before. That wasn't me. <laughs> no, I definitely wanted to do that. It was me in that regard. What I mean is that I wasn't in control. Now I am. May I kiss you? Please? Thank you, Shadow. Thank you. That helped a lot. Okay, Shadow. It's time you had some breakfast. No, it's okay. I'll feed you. And then we can talk some more. And maybe, if you'll let me, I'll snuggle you like I did that first night I had you tied up in my home. That was very soothing to me. Would you be alright if I did that? I'm glad. Here, let me help you up. Now go ahead and take a seat. I'll get you breakfast. Nope, I'm afraid you're going to have to put up with me doing that from time to time. I won't hurt you, Shadow. I promise you that. But you might get a quick kiss from now and then. And anything else you'd like. 